Hey everyone, this video will show my spirulina culture 22 days after the initial transfer and what kind of things I do before increasing the media and transferring the original culture to a new container. We'll be covering things like overall health, taking a pH strip test, looking at it underneath a microscope for any contamination and a general health check, mixing media, and then of course transferring the culture. Here's a photo of the spirulina 16 days after transfer, when I think it was looking the best. And then here's a photo of the spirulina 21 days after transfer, when it started to decline. The algae started to clump, some discoloration. I believe I might have shocked it with too much light. Before mixing up the new media and transferring my spirulina culture, I check the pH with a pH strip test to see what it's at. So as you can see, it's really not very accurate. The pH strip test comes in at what looks like around 10 to 11 pH. My best guess is 10.5 to 11, but it's really not as exact as I was hoping. I took a photo here with and without flash just to see if it makes any difference. And to be honest, after this, I caved and bought a pH meter. They're only about $10 and it's worth it for the accuracy. As a sort of side experiment, I wanted to put some new media into the one milliliter centrifuge tubes that I initially received the cultures in, just for any trace bits of algae that were remaining in there, I wanted to see if I could regrow them. And they actually did grow a little bit. Now we're getting to the good stuff. So I check my 40 milliliters of spirulina algae under the microscope. I'm looking at them at magnifications of 40x, 100x, and 400x, and they all look really great. I don't see any contaminants, nothing in there other than algae. The algae looks more coiled, it's longer. It is a little bit more brown than I initially remember, but overall they look good. Now getting to the final parts of this video is mixing the new media to expand my algae culture and then transferring the culture. So really four main parts to my custom media mix and I owe all of this to Apex Grower. He is a great guy on YouTube, very informative, and I've learned a lot from him already. So the four parts to my media is water, baking soda, ocean magic sea minerals, and maxi grow hydroponics plant food. As you can tell, I don't have a proper dropper, pipette, or scale to measure these volumes out, so I did my best with a baking teaspoon tablespoon set that I have and convert everything down to those units and also to how much a drop of the liquids would be. I'll include a photo of the conversion for spirulina as well, but basically what I'm looking at is for every 1,000 liters, or I'm sorry, every 1,000 milliliters of distilled water for spirulina, I am adding about 12.5 grams of baking soda, 1.56 grams of Ocean Magic Sea Minerals, and 0.26 grams of MaxiGrow hydroponics plant food. With those numbers in mind, I would just convert those amounts depending on how much water I'm planning to add and adjust all the other components accordingly. I like to add a portion of the distilled water into the container I'm mixing everything up in first. That way the baking soda doesn't react with any other liquids you're adding in there aside from the water and make sure to stir everything up really well, add the remaining amount of water, and then add your culture to that media. That's it for today's video. Hopefully you found that helpful. Please like and comment on the video. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know if you're interested in growing algae, if you have algae, if you've tasted algae. Um, I love it all. I'm trying to learn as much as I can. So make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I'll be posting a chlorella grow update here soon. So make sure to stay tuned and thanks so much for watching. Take care.